Hey there, this is Kevin Henderson, the writer and director of In the Cards. You've reached the final episode of the season, and we just wanted to thank you all for coming along for the ride. If you liked what you heard, give us a great rating and maybe write a review, which helps others find the show. Or you could just scream about it from your living room window to all your friends. That might work too. Without further ado, here's episode eight. Previously on In the Cards. Then tonight's the night. Get her to kiss you and break the spell. I'm like a mannish sleeping beauty. Cotton candy here! Get Look over there, go. They have a fortune teller. Let's go in. I will go to the carnival. This turbulent marriage, how do I avoid it? Some things are avoidable, but this union of which we speak is written deep in the stars. Screw what destiny says. Can I kiss you? The moment's there, Gil. Don't ask. Nadia, this is my philosophy teacher, Dr. Towers. A doctor! Nadia, I've never believed in love at first sight till this moment. Uh, Nadia, you're under a spell. Snap out of it. Jim, hey! You hired a porno girl? This whole fiasco is happening because the universe is trying to keep me in line. You're done here! We're back to being losers, Gil! The line in your hand is very short. Don't despair when I tell you it indicates an early death, because death, in this context, also means rebirth. Time will tell. Next Chapter Podcast presents In the Cards. Episode 8, the season finale, Gill vs. Yellow. For the best listening experience, be sure to use headphones or earbuds. Hi, you've reached Nadia Popova, psychic extraordinaire. Sorry I've missed your call. Leave a message, and I predict I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Nadia, hey, it's Gil. I hadn't heard from you, so I thought I'd check in, say hi. I uh, also wanted to say that I, for one, was having a great time the other night at the carnival until, you know, the end when my professor showed up. Try not to be really too upset by it all, because it was pretty obvious you were both under some kind of strange fate spell you couldn't control. (laughs) The crazy universe messing with old Gil Garson again, right? I mean, it's pretty funny. (laughs) Right. Actually, Nadia... It wasn't funny. (sighs) Destiny knows it was losing its fight with me, and it stepped in to sabotage what you and I have been building towards, which is something genuine and real and special. Ow! Damn it! Freaking coffee table again. I swear I'm going to chop up that thing into firewood. (sighs) Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say is that we like each other, Nadia. We do. It's unexpected. Doesn't fit into our fates, but we were about to kiss in that moment just before Destiny interfered and shoved towers into your path. I mean, there's no way you could honestly fall for that jerk unless it was a spell because he's an undeniable asshole. Whoa. Oh, very funny up there. A wasp, Nadia. In my apartment when all the windows are shut. You think that's a coincidence? It's not. It's the universe. Screwing with me again. Okay, I gotta go because this wasp strafing me like a Messerschmitt. Ow! Shin into the table again. Mother. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay. Okay. You wanna go? All right. Okay. Ah. Ah. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Oh. The bastard got me. Right on the neck. Okay, I better go pop a Benadryl in case my tongue blows up. In closing, I just want to say you don't have to do what fate wants you to do, Nadia. You don't. Call me. Alexa, turn on the news. In local business news... Revealing videos of Corker Cheese Curl's new spokeswoman were discovered on an amateur adult website. Alexa, off. Gaff by the snack off. Food company Alexa, the please. Uh, no more news, please. Shut up, Alexa. Media. Shut up. Stop. Stop the news. 
sorry about the noise, Mrs. Tassiopoulos. I was just destroying my Alexa because she never, ever, ever listens to me. I promise it's all over now. Hello? Lex, it's Gil. How you doing? What up, bro? Did they fire you? Well, I ignored their calls all weekend, then came into work this morning like nothing was wrong. No one said anything? I brought in two dozen Krispy Kreme donuts, which made a lot of people really happy. Finally, Jim summoned me. I groveled a bit, then told him it would look bad if he fired me because of my disability. What's your disability? I'll tell you what I told him, which is, it's against the law to ask that question, Jim. And guess what? He bought it. Nicely done. Well, it's not the first time I've bluffed a boss with a lawsuit. Anyway, he sent me back to my old cubicle with a shitty chair, and I'm designing fucking table tents again. At least you still have a job. But bro, after seeing life on the other side, being back here feels even worse. So what are your plans? Maybe I'll move somewhere else and start over. Have you thought about Canada? They're really nice up there. Did you hang out with Bella this weekend? I did. That's one incredible woman. She read the lines on the soles of my feet, Gil. That sounds gross. Oh no, it's very sensual. And tickly. And what did the soles of your feet reveal? My feet said I'd been chained to a slab of concrete, then thrown in the ocean, and I was sinking to my death, but the chain suddenly broke very recently and allowed me to swim to salvation. Gee, I wonder what that could mean. Yeah, who knows? Did you see Nadia? Yeah, she's been hanging with the philosophy I get. They don't laugh or have real conversations. It's weird. She's under a spell. I gotta break through somehow. Have you heard from our secret X-rated girl yet? Monica? Yeah, she texted. We're meeting for coffee. Hey, make sure you thank her for ruining our careers. It's not her fault. <sighs> Look, I gotta go. It's Tyreek's birthday, and they're making me run out to buy him a birthday cake. Well, he doesn't eat cake. He only eats raw food. Oh, God! Just stick a beeswax candle in a head of lettuce. He'll be ecstatic. Oh, great idea. See you, bro. Hey, Gil. Monica. Hey. Thanks for meeting me. I, I didn't know if you would. Of course I would. I'm just... I'm so sorry with how things turned out. I hope you didn't get in trouble. They, they kind of fired me. Oh, my God. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's a nightmare. They're turning me into something I'm not. This is what happened, Gil. When I was in drama school, my boyfriend was at the film school. We were nuts about each other, and he had all these cameras, you know? And sometimes he'd film us, and then we'd watch, and it was fun and sexy, but they were just for us, you know? Your life is way more interesting than mine. Then, to keep it spicy, we'd come up with little scenarios, like milkmaid and farmhand, or puppeteer and puppet, or Santa and giant elf. I get the picture. We were in love, Gil, and it was just fun. I mean... I thought we were going to get married, but then... You broke up. Yeah. And he uploaded one of the videos to that site. The giant elf one, which was especially humiliating. I thought in time it would just fade away, but... Some perverts recognized me from the Corker commercial, and here we are. I gotta say, Gil, sometimes I feel like the deck is stacked against me. It probably is. Thanks a lot. It's stacked against me, too. <laughs> See that? A bird just pooped on me. Uh, Happens all the time. That's why I bought the hat. You're not kidding, are you? Monica, I recently learned my fate is to always lose. And since then, I've been fighting my destiny with everything I have. But the universe has been fighting back. And I'm sorry to say that you just got caught up in one of our battles. This mess wasn't about you. It was my destiny. If it's your destiny to lose, then mine must be to repeatedly pay the price of love gone bad. Maybe. I should move to Italy. They like girls with checkered pasts there. You don't have a checkered past. You're a victim of trust and love. And you know what? 
You still kicked ass in my commercial. You kicked ass too, Gil. Hey, look at that couple over there with the corker cheese curls. Yep. Everywhere I look the past few days, I see people eating them. That's called the bader meinhof phenomenon. The what? It's an illusion frequency. You worked on the cheese curl commercial, so they're on your mind, and now you can't help but notice every bag of cheese curls you pass. Seems the only place I haven't seen them was at my corner store. They were sold out. Really? Oh my god! You're the Corker Cheese Curl Girl! <laughs> I was. I read your post this morning, and my ex-boyfriend did that to me too. <sighs> Any jerk who's roasting you can kiss my ass! Thank you. Can I get a selfie? Sure. Bye, Corker Girl! I put my revenge porn story on my socials today. It's gotten a lot of hits. I'm suddenly seeing a lot of corker bags, too. I gotta make a quick call. Okay. Dude, we just talked. Where are you, Lex? At the grocery store buying a head of lettuce for Tyreek. You near the snack section? Mm, yeah. How full is the corker cheese curl display? There's only one bag there. Wait, some girl just snagged it. Lex, meet me at Walnut and 10th in 10 minutes. I gotta get this birthday lettuce back to the office, Gil. You wanna be on loser table tents the rest of your life? Monica, I gotta run, but I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Bye, Gil. 10 minutes, Lex. We're going to Corker headquarters. But Gil... You ready? I guess so. It's... Stop sneezing on the flowers. I can't help if I'm allergic. Welcome to Corker Enterprises. Thank you. Oh, look at that. I love the decorative trinket on your arm. That's my insulin pump. Are you dropping the flowers off? They're for Mrs. Corker. It's... She's in a meeting. You can leave them here. Thanks, but she has to sign for them. But we'll just head on in. You can't just walk in there. Hey, I'm calling security. Well, look over there, Gil. They have a ping pong table. Hi, delivery for Mrs. Corker? Last office on the left. Look confident, Lex. But she scares the hell out of me. Here we go. Mrs. Corker, how are you? Well, look who it is. Gil Gawson, the man who made me a laughing stock. These azaleas are for you. What? Throw them in the trash can. And if you hadn't heard, I fired your agency. And they fired me. What a shame. Mrs. Corker, this Monica situation caught us all off guard. But we can turn it around. We've pulled the spot. That's a mistake. Oh, is it really, Gil Garson? You have an opportunity to be bold. Look at my face. Do I look happy? It's impossible to tell, and I mean that as a compliment. We're getting crucified in the press. Uh, you're getting ribbed, not crucified. And that spot's created more buzz for your brand in three days than you've had in the last ten years. You need to keep the ad running, keep Monica as your spokesperson, and make more commercials with her. She's a porn star! She made some videos with her ex-boyfriend. And the jerk put one of them on the internet. She's the victim here. The victim of love. Lex, show Mrs. Corker Monica's Instagram post today. Here we go. See? She tells the whole sordid story. Santa Claus and a giant elf? And look at the responses with people holding bags of cheese curls. Your cheese curls. This situation, while unexpected, is a win. We hit ten stores on the way over here. You're sold out in all of them. Coincidence. There's no such thing as coincidence. Eddie. Yes, Mrs. Corker? Reschedule my dermal filler appointment and give me the weekend sales report. Uh, punching it up now. Huh. We're selling out everywhere. Weird. Thank you. Interesting. Two more recommendations. One, you publicly announce you're standing behind Monica by hiring a lawyer to sue this asshole ex-boyfriend of hers. And two, you were planning to go national next spring? Do it now. We have a brief window to turn this into a grand slam. Is that thunder? It's not supposed to rain today. Mm, pay it no mind. Gil, your nose is bleeding. His arm may fall off next. Just ignore it. He's at war. Mrs. Corker, Lex and I are opening our own ad agency. We are. And we want to represent Corker Enterprises. What do you say? In all honesty, I do love that commercial and the direction you were taking things in. We love that spot, too. 
And I admire a man with balls, who fights for what he wants, a man with ideas and passion. Does that mean you want to be our client? The look on my face obviously says it all, boys. Your face doesn't move, Mrs. Corker. You've got a deal I'm in. Let's make some shit happen. We'll work our asses off for you. Oh, God. Lex, it's Nadia calling. He's got to take that call, Mrs. Corker. Get out of here, Gail. I'll walk her through the plan. Are you sure? That call is about something more important than business, isn't it? That call's about love, Mrs. Corker. Love! For God's sake, then answer that phone, Gil! Thank you! Lex, did you know that Mr. Corker was quite the lover? Was he? Tell me more. Hello? Nadia? Sorry I haven't called back, Gil. Things got... confusing. Can I see you? I don't think so. Listen, Nadia, I'm crazy about you. Gil... Merry French music plays in my head whenever I even think of you. We both know how things are supposed to go. To hell with how things are supposed to go. I can't explain what happened on Friday night, but all of a sudden you seemed so far away. I know what happened. You got drugged by the universe. Gil, you're sweet and funny. Thank you for always making me laugh. Your infatuation with towers isn't real. How could it be? Oh. Are you okay? I'm feeling dizzy again, all of a sudden. Fight it. <clears throat> Goodbye, Gil. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming right now. Goodbye. Shit! Uh, <sighs> coming through! Uh, Excuse I me! Where are you going? Uh, Whoa! Uh, careful, bro. That's a glass door. Thanks for the news flash. Where are the stairs? I can't chance the elevators. That way. End of the hall, Doug. That way? Great. <sighs> Excuse me. Coming through. Coming. Ow! Ah, I'm fine. Have a great one. Ugh. Greetings. Bella, it's Gil. Is Nadia there? How are you, Gil? Come inside. Is Nadia here? She went out with the doctor. Oh! Clumsy me. I'm dropping things all day. Be kind and pick the cars up from the floor for me, Gil. Yeah, sure. You know, Dr. Towers is a bad guy, Bella. I believe you. May I have the tarot cards, please? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Here. Thank you. Would you like to cut them before I deal your spread? You tricked me. I did. For your own good. So you can see. Would you like to cut the deck? No, and I'd prefer if you didn't. Not cutting the deck is also a choice. And we begin. Interesting. Where did they go? She came home confused from the carnival on Friday. She couldn't remember why she left with the doctor. She left with the doctor because the universe slipped her a mickey. Shall I tell you what your cards say? Do they still say I'll be alone? In terms of love, there is only longing. Oh, which card says that? This one. This one? This one here? There. Now it's destroyed. What do you think of that up there? Huh? This is Gil Garson telling you to go screw yourself. Destiny doesn't like being disobeyed. Oh, you don't like it? Well, I don't care, because I defy you, universe. I defy my path. I'm going to win, Bella. In fact, I'm already winning. I just opened my own business and landed a huge client. How about that up there? I promoted myself. Be careful, Gil. Great danger lies in your future. Where is she, Bella? Mortal danger.
Here. Take these amethyst stones and put them in your pocket. Fine, but where is she? She went with the doctor to Wings Airfield. She'll fly with him to Montreal. The solidification of her future will happen on that trip. Thanks for the amethyst. I'm going to stop her. Gil! Yellow! Gil! Beware of yellow! I will! Are you? Me? Are you? Give me your wallet, boyo. Are, are you mugging me? Why are you dressed like a priest? Because I am a priest. But before that, I was a mugger. Now give me your fucking wallet. <laughs> Mugged by a priest. That's very creative up there. But I'm not stopping, you hear me? I'm coming for Nadia. Who are you talking to? The universe. You're under its spell. Snap out of it. Ah! Oh! The next punch goes to your throat, my son. The wallet. Here. Thank you. And may God bless you, my child. <sighs> Taxi! Taxi! Wherever you're going, I only take cash. Uh, I don't have my wallet because I got mugged by a priest. What up, dude? Hey, Lex. Oh, crap. Oh, nuts. What happened? I just stepped in dog shit and got pooped on by that bird. I'm literally getting crapped on from stem to stern. And you know what? You can still go to hell up there, you hear me? I'm a winner and you can screw yourself. Lex, get your car and pick me up at the tarot shop and hurry. This next 20 minutes determines the rest of my life. She's ready to go, Professor, and you better hustle if you're going to beat that storm. Thanks. Just loading up, then we'll be on our way. I can't believe you own a plane, Peter. I actually co-own it with an archaeology teacher, but he hardly uses it since he took up pickleball. Let me help you in. Oh. You all right, Nadia? Yeah. It's just... Things are moving so fast. Is a trip away together rushing things? It's perfect and spontaneous. You've hit me like a ton of bricks. It almost makes no sense. It makes no sense to me either. Maybe I shouldn't. I promise I'll be as proper as a Boy Scout. That storm's coming in. If we're gonna go... Okay. Help me up. <sighs> Buckle yourself in. Tower, this is Cessna Aztec 629er. Permission to taxi to the runway. Okay, hold on, Gil. Hold on. Ah! Wow, that was close. That's it up ahead. I see the runway, but the entrance is on the other side. Go to hell, asshole! We're in a battle with the universe here. There's a plane taxiing from the hangar. She's in that plane, Lex. I can feel it. Stop the car, dude. You'll never get over the fence. There's barbed wire. There's no time. Stop. The storm's coming up fast. Oh! Whoa! Holy shit, look! That tree, the lightning split it! Oh my god, it's falling right up! Ah! Ah! I'm a bad guy to be around in a lightning storm. Beware the color yellow. Yeah, yellow, Gil. Lightning's yellow. It's time to abort this mission, Romeo, because fate is not fucking around. You'll get killed if you go out there. I'm going. Wish me success in changing the flight of my arrow. If you manage to live, you're buying me a new car, because I blame you for my Camry being totaled. Deal! You missed! Stop antagonizing the gods, Gil! Nadia! Nadia! Cessna Aztec 629er ready for clearance. Over. Uh, Aztec 629er, copy that. Uh, you'll be cleared shortly. Over. Look there, Peter. There's a man climbing the fence. Not case. Aztec 629er here. That stone's coming fast. I need to get out of here. Over. My god, that's Gil! The loser from metaphysics. He's not a loser, Peter. Oh god, he just got snagged on the barbed wire. Ow! 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 Ow!
made it over, bro! Now run! <sighs> run, Gil! Nadia! Nadia! Wait! He's coming for me. Aztec 629er, clear for takeoff. You'll be the last one out. Happy skies. Over. Gil. Gil! Nadia, what are you doing? You have to buckle up. It's Gil, Peter. I'm getting out. We're about to take off. I don't want to live in New Jersey. Nadia, sit down. I'm your destiny. Well, I'm telling destiny it can go to hell. Get back here, Nadia. Gil! I'm here, Gil! Nadia! Be careful, Gil! I'm coming! Whoa! I love you, Nadia! You hear me? I love you! I love you too, Gil! Ah! Oh! Oh! Gil! Gil, Gil, Gil! I'm here now, Gil. Wake up. Gil. You're not entitled to always get your way up there, you understand? Gil, oh, wake up, Gil. You're not going to die, you hear me? He's not going to die. I'm here, Gil. Open your eyes, please. Listen to me. I was in a daze, but I'm here now to tell you I love all your foibles and your tenacity and kindness, humor. I love you, Gil. Don't you dare go away from me. Oh. There you are. Nadia? I'm here. You're beautiful in a rainstorm. <laughs> you okay? I came to get you. I'm so sorry about the carnival. You're under a spell. And you broke it. Then getting tasered by the gods was worth it. <laughs> you make me smile, Gil Carson. If I could lift my head, I'd kiss you. You don't have to. I'll kiss you. Nadia, come back to the plane. Stay away, Peter. You're coming with me. Take your hand off me, Peter. Let go. We're going to Montreal, Nadia. That's the way the story goes. No, no, let her go. You can't fight destiny, girl. And just to give you a heads up, I'm giving you an F in metaphysics. I said let her go. Ugh! Ow. Damn it! Good punch, Gil. Not good enough. You're still coming with me, Nadia. It is written! Peter, or whatever you are, this is for you! <laughs> wow. That's quite a right hook. He's out cold. You softened him up for me. Now you're just being nice. Maybe. Where were we before he interrupted things? I was about to kiss you. How about I kiss you first? Hurry. Merry French music. Do you hear it? I do. And I love it. And there's the sun. I feel different. Me too. I think we're on a new path. Then can I ask you a favor? Yeah? Can we play a quick game of rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> okay. It's kind of important. Then let's play. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three, shoot. Paper covers rock. You won. Yeah. I won. I won too, Gil. Come here and kiss this lucky guy. No. You come here and kiss this lucky girl.
We all travel our paths as it is written, and try as we may, it is not possible to deviate from that path. Until, of course, someone impossibly does. And when the impossible suddenly somehow happens, then everything changes. Who would like their cards read today? In the Cards was written and directed by Kevin Henderson. The cast is as follows. Connor Ratliff as Gil. Stephen Boyer as Lex. Lila Robbins as Bella. Jamie Ann Romero as Nadia. Chick Woody Iwuji as Professor Peter Towers. Robert Cuccioli as Jim. Joanna Glushak as Catherine Corker, Helga, and others. Mari Sandoval as Clea and others. Chris Henry Coffey as Bryson and others. Nancy Rodriguez as Monica and others. Delphi Harrington as Mrs. Tassiopoulos and others. Michael Goodfriend as Robert and others. Additional voices performed by Amy Malloy, Gigi Henderson, Declan Henderson, Adam Arise Gutierrez, and Courtney Rosemont. Casting by the Telsey Office, Karen Castle, CSA. Original music composition, sound design, and mix by Shane Reddick. Sound engineering by Sadaharu Yagi. Mix engineer and dialogue editor, Larry Walsh and Robert McNabb. Podcast mastering by Greg Cortez at New Monkey Studio. Coordinating producer, Transcend Streaming. Kira Bowie and Leona Keys, Executive Producer, Michael Goodfriend. The Managing Director of Business Operations and Partnerships at Next Chapter Podcasts is Sally Cade Holmes. Special thanks to Jeff Talbot, Tallulah Henderson, and Mike Mariano. In the Cards is produced by Next Chapter Podcasts and is made possible by the generous support of the Hits Foundation. Visit ncpodcast.com for more about the series. Subscribe to ncpodcast.com to get cool merch like t-shirts, hoodies, and coffee mugs, ad-free episodes, and bonus content video featuring interviews with the actors, producers, and writers, and artists who brought the series to life. <laughs>